Hello and welcome back to the village. It's Boxing Day today. What is Boxing Day? Well, it's the 26th of December, the day after my Christmas. Why is it called Boxing Day? Well, back in the UK 200 years ago, so the legend says, rich people used to get all the presents that they'd received and didn't really want. They put them in boxes and gave them to their servants. A more believable legend is that on the 26th it was a no working day for most people 200 years ago and apprentices and children in work used to go around and get tips from their employees that they used to put in boxes boxing day two legends i don't know if they're true or not it's like anywhere else isn't it like where you come from what are the legends that surround festivals and festivities and other events where you come from. Are they all true? I don't know. We had a really nice day yesterday. I didn't post anything live because it's a family day and it doesn't matter what faith you are, what religion you are, even if you don't have it. We all have our special day and although I'm not religious, I grew up with Christmas and it holds lots of happy memories for me but as I get older those memories sometimes are ones that bring back or create sadness for example for my 94 year old mother who is back in the east of England um, I don't get to see her too much these days one there's cost in travel that's not an excuse but at the moment in Britain there's strikes and then there's bad weather and a whole host of other things. I'll be going back in spring. And then once you're enjoying yourself, like yesterday with Tamara, uh, we invited her family and we had like typically English things. You know, we had uh, roast beef, we had roast potatoes, uh, roast carrots. Um, and then we had uh, these little cocktail sausages, which we roasted off in honey and mustard unusual normally for people in the Balkans we had that and Tamara made cheese scones scones are a sort of I don't know how you could call it it's not really a biscuit and it's not really a cake it's one of those in between things by the way if you want to check um, the video before this um, I, I did record Tamara when she was making hers and as it says in that video if you want the, the recipe to that just contact by a comment and I'll send you the link yeah, and then, you know, you're having fun and you're enjoying life. And then there's always something that comes in that hits you. Um, I've always been a great fan of music uh, throughout my life. And like yesterday, I woke up on Christmas morning to the fact that I, I used to like, and I still like trance music a lot. And I was a great fan of the band Faithless back in the uh, late 1990s and early noughties uh, as we call the start of this century and their singer Maxi Jazz died I got in contact with my daughter back in the UK and I said what, what, what happened and she said well dad it looked like something wasn't right with his health but he did die peacefully in his sleep thank the Lord for that but Maxi Jazz was younger than me and there's so many people who are younger than me so yeah, I'm living every day and have been for some time. I live every day for what it is. Not too many plans in the future, but just enjoy every single second. For example, where am I? There. Um, there's a beautiful sunset just finishing off. And uh, yeah, I enjoy those. I enjoy sunsets here in the Balkans. I enjoy sunrises. I enjoy the food, I enjoy the people, I enjoy everything about being here, except the politics. And I think you'd agree with me, it's all a load of... I never said that word so I don't get banned, right? So, that's David's Boxing Day update. Now, I'm going to tidy this video up a little bit and then post it. And then it's leftovers. One of the final things that I love about Christmas is 
We always make so much food. When I grew up as a boy, my mum used to make tons and tons of food. And then we used to eat it uh, for the next couple of days. But it seemed to me it tasted better <laughs> on those other days. Yeah. If you know any English people, ask them about eating turkey. We have turkey and we have cranberry jelly with it. And it really tastes nice when the family sat down around the table uh, eating it. But I tell you one thing, um, another tradition for Britain is like the days after Christmas, you eat turkey sandwiches. Yeah, and you put the cranberry sauce in the middle of that. Yeah. Memories. Let me know what your memories are. Do you celebrate Christmas now? Do you celebrate Christmas in January? Do you celebrate, um, is it Bayram? I'm not too sure of the dates of Bayram. I know there's a big Bayram and a small Bayram in, um, in Bosnia. Hanukkah, what about, you know, the Jewish faith? What do you do? What do you get up to? Maybe you're not interested in replying, but I like to learn about other people. And I hope through these videos, you learn a little bit about my culture and how I'm getting used and learning and having a ball finding out and experiencing another culture. So a late happy Christmas to you. Hope everything's going well. And wherever you are in the world, do stay safe.